So what actually is bridging finance? Um, I'm asked that quite a lot. So what actually is bridging finance? Um, I'm asked that quite a lot and how do you use it to your advantage? So the great thing with bridging finance is you can have it set up in the background so the money can be released to you instantly. So it's not like where you go get a mortgage and then you've got to apply for it and jump through all the hoops. You can do that with bridging and have it sat there. So there's certain products where if you want to go buy an auction, you effectively now become a cash buyer, meaning that you've got uh, more bargaining power. It means you can buy things below market value because you can complete a lot quicker. Um, bridging finance is, uh, it, it's like having a, um, a credit card. It's high interest finance. So you do pay the price for it, but it can be used in so many different ways to uh, help you structure deals. Um, and it's something that I've used as part of my strategy for probably five years now. Um, what I lo also love about bridging finance is the interest that you're paying for the bridging finance. You can use that to offset against your profits on a building. So this building that we're in right now, for example, um, our bridging uh, finance interest is somewhere around about four or five hundred grand on um, a building of this size. That's what we've paid in interest. Um, now that five hundred grand, let's say for example, I can make a hundred grand per annum off this building for ease of maths on the the, the, the 10 apartments, the 16 offices, the conference room, the commercial units. So if I could make 100 grand per annum, but I've got a 500 grand cost over here for bridging finance, what it means is I've got no tax to pay for five years because I can offset it against uh, my bridging finance costs. And that's one of the strategies I've used over the last five years to really reduce the amount of tax that I pay, uh, which means I can retain that money in the business, which allows us to expand, grow, um, which in turn, HMRC and uh, the, outer, the outer world benefit from that more because it might mean now that instead of having five people on our team, we've got 10 people on our team that are all paying taxes as well. So um, not only do I benefit and the business benefits, but uh, HMRC also gets a slice of that. It's just a little bit later down, but a compounded effect of it.